to your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good evening, everyone. I'm Meg McLeod. Among our top stories tonight, a new state law could mean a new name for Flint Township, which has been trying to change its name for years in an effort to stop being confused with the city. Unlike cities and villages, townships across the state had no authority to change their name. But that ended last month when Governor Gretchen Whitmer signed a law to allow it. In recent years, the city's lead water crisis renewed interest in changing the township's name. But confusion isn't isolated to the two Flints. For instance, the name Grant is used for 11 townships across the state. Across Michigan now, about 3,600 homes in Benton Harbor are set to get new, safer water pipes. This week, crews started to replace lead drinking water pipes with copper ones. Earlier this year, the state declared an emergency after it was revealed that lead was contaminating the city's drinking water. Some 3,600 more pipes still need to be replaced. Benton Harbor's mayor says they have already received more than $8.5 million to take care of about 1500 homes, but more funding is on the way. And once we get the 10 million from the state budget, the other 10 million from the ARPA, then that's when they can come in with the contractors. So with us, contractors here, contractors from the state, uh, we'll be able to really put a major dent. Uh, and hopefully by next November at this time, uh, we'll be able to announce Benton Harbor is lead free or very close. And the mayor says the city is still identifying homes with lead problems. The Environmental Protection Agency is starting to test more homes next week. Mid Michigan's very own Grammy winning rock band Greta Van Fleet has announced its latest tour. The Frankenmuth natives will kick off the Dreams in Gold Tour March 10th in Kalamazoo. They'll make a stop in Saginaw March 13th and then in Flint on the 16th. Tickets go on sale Friday morning at 10 at LiveNation.com. And now here's Brian with a look at our forecast. Thanks very much, Meg. After a cloudier and showery Tuesday at times across the area, things are back on the mend as we head into tonight. The cold front that brought all that uh, cloudy weather and occasional nuisance rain with it has now moved to the southeast of us over Lake Erie and will continue away into the mid-Atlantic states over the next 24 hours. Already we're getting some dry air filtering back in behind the boundary, so the last of the clouds will take their leave pretty soon. And then for our Wednesday, we actually are poised to see high pressure briefly but uh, briefly or not, assume the uh, rains of our weather as we head into the middle of the week, and that'll give us some returning sunshine, still fairly comfortable temperatures before things then start to take a turn on us during the second half of the week. So hour by hour forecast here going into the eight o'clock hour. We'll see any leftover clouds make a quick exit from there. Just about everybody's under mostly clear conditions by the time we hit the midnight hour. Then the only thing from there that we're really going to have to worry about as we look ahead toward the morning commute on Wednesday will be some patchy areas of fog. Looks like the greatest chances for those are going to be in cross uh, parts of the thumb and in toward the Flint metro area. But realistically, everyone has the possibility of either seeing some patchy fog or even some scattered frost in some areas tonight with lows headed into the low 30s. From there, some high clouds will then gradually retake our skies between the morning drive and midday on Wednesday, but we'll keep it dry and we should still see a fair amount of sunshine during this time. It'll be during the afternoon hours, really between 3 to 6 p.m. right into the evening commute and dinner time when the clouds will start to thicken up across a wider area. Most of that will again kind of linger in the high cloud category until about 9 o'clock tomorrow evening. Then as a warm front begins to lift northward through the area late tomorrow night into the early morning hours of Thursday, that may bring with it certainly some clouds, but also the possibility of a light shower or two. Those are gone in time for the morning commute on Thursday, but as you can see, as we had later in the day on Veterans Day, by the time we're hitting about 5 p.m., a good majority of us will be into some moderate to at times heavy rain, making for a good soaking, but at least with milder temperatures for the holiday itself. For tonight, 32 is your overnight low, decreasing clouds, patchy fog overnight, and especially I think in some of our northwestern communities, we will see some patchy frost too. 53, your high temp for tomorrow, clouds back on the increase, but overall a cool and comfortable day with light and variable winds. From there, in the first one five seven day forecast, Veterans Day sees the return of some spring-like temperatures as highs return to about 60, but of course we'll see that rain develop during the afternoon and evening. 
Then from there, we'll see a pair of slow moving storm systems work through the Great Lakes from Friday through the upcoming weekend. We'll likely see some steadier blended rain and snow at times develop late Friday with a high of 48 and then scattered rain and snow showers will persist from there through the upcoming weekend as highs progressively get chillier from the low 40s to even the upper 30s by Tuesday. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather, and information.